Oh yeah, and yes, we did do the giggity. How you and the watchers sleep, carrying all those souls around. Well, I do sleep better when the watchers around. That's for sure. It, does it suddenly feel warm in here to you? <laughs> comment about how uh show how uh i'm okay so they do actually uh comment about uh if i'm in a relationship with somebody interesting uh bardado estate valera estate so bardado Hello. My intelligence speaks of agitated whispers in the Valera household. I want to talk about the Valera plot against your house. Have on then, and don't leave me in suspense. A uh, bear. One of your guards conspired with the Valeras to rob your vault. A sickle of a smile spreads from cheek to cheek. Now we know enough to sidestep this particular trap. Here, your deserving pay. I suggest we allow this heist to play out as intended. We will watch as our enemies walk into a trap. This will be the end of the Valera's short, ignoble reign in high society. Just talk to a tell. It's not too late to solve this peacefully. It most decidedly is. I have no use for a faint heart. Find me when you come to your senses. Jesus! Level 10 height, or level 9 height. Good God. Speak up. My business never sits still for long. Level nine distribution. Jeez. All right. Uh, mechanics are. Ooh, we can actually put it up to eight now, and we can go back down to the pits, get those chests unlocked, and we'll be good to go. I do. Oh, I'm up to four. Oh, interesting. Um, down here though. God, I'm up to 10 diplomacy. I think I can hold off on that for a little bit. I'm up to six streetwise. Uh huh. Let's go ahead and increase insight a little. From here. Yeah, let's go ahead and get mechanics up to eight. Um. It marks an enemy as the focus of the paladin's righteous fury, granting a damage bonus against the target until combat ends. Okay, brand enemy. While the brand lasts, the enemy will take burn damage over time. And then there's... If the rival is defeated, the zeal cost is refunded. Oh. Eh, let's do this. Well, there is... Stuff. There is... Over here, real quick. Hold on. Uh, a uh, material strike. Affected enemies will now also bleed when moving and taking raw damage with every step. Successful hits now also distract the target. I like that. Also, what do you do again? Uh, strike their target violently in the head, interrupting them. The bonus effects of this attack vary based on the type of weapon used. Ranged, two-handed, one-handed, raw damage over time. Hmm. Huh.
Hmm. Um. Intriguing. So there's three skills that I like. I like this skill. I'm not particularly caring about any of these, uh, surprisingly enough. After use the paladin. Oh, oh! I also like this. Bonus burn damage. For 15 seconds. I don't know how many attacks I get, but I guess that's a bit. Um. So there's definitely four skills that I really like. I like the debilitating strike. Okay, what are you? Uh, yeah, I don't really care. I like to strike the bell because it does raw damage over time. And over here, I like Brand Enemy and Eternal Devotion. No, yeah, I'll do Eternal Devotion. One of those nearby allies receive a smaller version of the Flames effect. Oh, yeah, we'll take it. And done. All right, Adder. Go ahead and increase our explosion up a little bit. And then down here, intimidates at nine. I think that's fine. Let's go ahead and go up more streetwise. Yeah, let's go up more streetwise. Ah, sweet. Okay. Uh, plus three enemies engaged. Boom. Don't care about that. Unbending. 25% of damage taken and converted into healing for 15 seconds. Ooh. Okay, then there's tough increases the base maximum health that you gain with each level. Oh. Superior deflection, plus four deflection. Ooh, nice. And armored grace, minus 25% armor recovery penalty. That seems pretty good. Fighter is perfectly capable of, uh, capable while wearing even bulky and restrictive suits of armor, lowering their recovery penalty from armor significantly. Uncanny luck. Well, uh, five percent resistance, five percent of hits converted to crits. Again, a small chance to completely avoid any attack and to convert some hits to uh, critical hits. This one seems good. I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna end up taking. Yeah, I'm not gonna take Seem nice. Oh. This one seems nice too, but no. Um a plus two max health. Increases the base max health you gain with each level by two. Uh you know what? No, I won't take that. I might just take superior uh, deflection.
But yeah, I'll take superior deflection. He is literally the tank. So. What's your max health to 179? And then what if we do, do this? Oh, what? Oh, you know what? Never mind. Um, defenses. Oh, it doesn't state your defenses? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Oh, yeah, that's right here. 52. Mm -hmm, I mean... There we go. Edder, there you go. The tank you need to be. Am I ever still really better than you in every other defense? But yes, Edder, the tank that must be. That's great. Okay, here. Um, I don't think... I guess we could increase athletic. No, not athletics. Uh, let's go more sleight of hand, I suppose. And down here, diplomacy. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Huh. That's four party, so. It's definitely a fraction of what everybody's is combined, so so that would be nine around it. Maybe but it Hold on. Actually, 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 so that's seven. That would be hold on. Okay, that would be seven, but that that would be turned into This is definitely the, the party assist definitely is intriguing and definitely I, I, I really want to Did it ever give me a tutorial on party? I wonder if it ever gave me a tutorial on party assist Sure it has. I just can't find I just can't find it. Okay. Um She instantly gains sworn enemy from this. Kind of wishing I put this on brand enemy instead of uh, Wrath of the Five Sons. Or is that something she had already had? It might have been something she already had by the time I got her. Maybe.
Rages plus five resolve for eight seconds. Okay. Neat. Robust. Ah. I think I want this. More summons. That's a spell, right? Yeah, that's a spell. That's what I want? Yeah, that's what I want. I could totally be building these characters really bad. All right, Shody. How you doing, girl? How you doing, girl? Um, Rat 12 religion with her, just, just her. Um, I still want to understand the party assist. New power on level on. Ooh. Um, let's go with history. A little bit. Sweet. Um, this is uh okay, toughness. Practiced healer. Definitely. Uh <clears throat> Combat only, obviously. And casting time three seconds. Keywords uh condemnation and inspiration. Oh. Loud loud slash quiet impact. Loud use slash quiet impact. What? I, that I still don't understand. Or I mean maybe that's like Huh. Anyways. Friendly a friendly target. Oh, okay. Resolute, tenacious, for 30 seconds, plus three enemies engaged for 30 seconds. Cannot die for eight seconds. Oh, revive fallen. Revive with 50 health. Ooh. We also have hazard AoE. Acute. Oh. I guess this is something I could give to Edder. Because I think... How many points does Edder have now? Engagement-wise? Um... Hold the line, plus one... Guardian stance. This is plus three. Uh, enemies engaged. Current bonus plus zero percent, minus five percent damage taken per engaged target. Okay, that's good. So that's three. I should just tell me, like right, right, right at the, right, uh, right at the. Uh, Okay, so hold 
Hold the line. That's the okay. ability you're currently using, correct? No! Guardian stance, please. I don't know why you're on cleaving stance, but you need to be on guardian stance. That was awkward. Okay, current effects. Okay, plus three, so that's three, four. Plus the initial one. So he can engage up to five enemies. Oh God. That seems pretty good. Uh, yeah. Grim. Plus 10% melee damage when wield, you know, wielded with a shield. Plus 5 deflection when uh, wielded with a shield. Superior deflection. Yeah, good god, Edder. You are now actually a much better tank than I am. <laughs> Except I have better defenses than you. Other than, like, deflection is the only one I don't beat you. Everything else, I beat you at. But hopefully that doesn't stay like that for long. And plus 40% damage with melee uh, with weapons against targets afflicted by a flanked body affliction slash mind affliction effects. All right. So, oh God, what were we, what were we doing? I guess we were doing more sleight of hand because why not? And then more insight. Yeah, well, insight. Yeah, there we go. Can always do more insight. And boom. Yes, please. And boom. Yes, please. Plus three enemies engaged for thirty seconds. Yes, please. And that basically just goes pop. You're on editor. Now, there's also Revive the Fallen, which I probably could get. Then I will we'll be fine. What's next? Okay, this one we won't get till level 11. Wait. Oh, two levels. I was like, wait, what? How are we no, we're level 9, not 10. So, what should you get? Wicked Briars. God, I'm loving Shody more and more. Which is great. Uh... Harvester of God. Uh, yeah. So, minor integration. Plus 25 health restored. Minus 5 like, duration of hostile effect. Seems pretty good. Plus 15% healing done. Even though really the... I only have... I really only have two healing spells, don't I? Yeah, just uh, Iconic Projection and... Restore. Yeah, those are the only ones I have. Huh, interesting. Uh, I think that's it, though. And boom. Oh, that's great. Um, you, buddy. Bring up explosives a little bit. Uh, bring up more inside. Yeah, let's go more history. Ah, more history. And new skills. Rapid casting. Plus 10% action speed. Oh, yes. Boom. Like, 
bar casting, plus 20% range with spells. Oh, so we're just, we just don't take any spells this time around? <laughs> okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, this could be bad. Uh, in Grimoire. Oh, call to slumber. <clears throat> Interesting. Lengrass Safeguard. Plus 20 to all defenses, plus 5 armor rating. Oh, that's just to sell. Bo, oh, we interrupt. Three, mm, three meter push. Oh. Yeah. Uh, hazard AOE, uh, four to five rush damage. Uh, hobbled for 20 seconds. Malignated cloud. Blast of frost. Form of the helpless beast. Transform. Target transformed cannot use active abilities plus 50 per mm, sense stride for 15 seconds. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Oh, and interesting. Oh, that's a Big torrent of flame. That's that that that's big. That's big. Oh God. Oh, it's a faux target. Uh, but I picked what I wanted. So, like, the faster he can get those spells off, the better. But yeah, Edder and Aloth really need to. Uh... We probably need to go rest, though. Plus 50% healing done. Plus 2 religion. Oh. Okay. That works. Oh. Yeah, these are my five frequently used spells. From her, these are the five. Uh. Hmm? Show me. Okay. Well, we are gonna need to go nice rest before we uh, carry on with this quest. God, what is the best place to rest in this town? And what does the wild mare have for us? All right, wild mare, what do you have for us? can I do for you? Ah, uh, show me what you have to say. Like? Let's see. Plus one cast mm, with uh, level one spells, plus one all skills. Sure. Drift in dreams, Shodi lies curled on her side, sweating, muscles quivering. She whimpers low in her throat. Ooh. Shodi groans, slow to rouse. At first, she curls tighter in on herself, but then the tension eases from her muscles and she sits, confused. Her eyes study yours. Hey, study your face. Breaking this the first time I ever bore witness to my own demise. It was not pretty. Never woke with such a driving need for reaping before. It's making my hands shake. Didn't the cleansing work? 
It did for a while, but then it wore off. All this essence I've gathered. It soaked the blessing right up. Left me with hardly none. You're losing your light to the darkness. Rekindle it by helping the living. She sucks in a deep breath. You sound like my high priestess Samhain. She never shuts up about the living, when she ought to worry more about the dead. Seems the more souls I gather, the better I see Gon's will, and the less I get a wink of sleep. Your nightmares are getting worse. Night or day, sleep or waking. It's getting harder to tell what's real from what's just yet to come. There is something I'm meant to do, though. Once I gather enough souls. Us Gaunites, we're supposed to shepherd lost souls, not just gather them. The harvesting's only the first part. If I were to dump the souls, it might make me dream less, like before. Or, darn it, who knows? Maybe it'd just make it all worse. Either way, I've got to find my purpose. Will you help me, Watcher? Pet the corner of her mouth. I do anything. I do anything for you, Shoni. Her happiness warms her whole face as a bright flush prickles over her skin. I was hoping you might would. Sometimes I feel like with you by my side, I can stand against gods. I think I'll, I think I like the first one. We'll find an Audra vein and release your bird. It's the best way to ensure the souls reach the beyond. You'll need to be a potent source to overpower the draw of my lantern. It's got to be luminous for sure. And that's one problem solved. But what about the itty bitty issue regarding the god of rebirth not actually being in hell? The souls will make it safely. But who's to see to their proper reseeding? This is a huge risk of Aeora's balance. You really trust Malgrin not to rebirth Aethasians as warriors of the flame? Think Gallowain won't be greedy? He does have a point. Gone aside, the gods' past actions don't instill me with the greatest confidence. Hmm. <clears throat> what else would you propose? Normally, I'd simply safe keep them until the god of rebirth could return to hell. But... You're right. I ought to deliver as many souls to hell as I can before it's too late. We need to empty my lantern right away. Gods, but you're clever. This is why Gon directed me into your path. I just know it. Aberration filling her eyes, she grins at you before turning away. Trying to make sure that I didn't say anything wrong. Okay, we're good. Huh. 